Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I was only willing to pay $3.75 for Monday Night Combat. This game usually retails for $14.99. Monday Night Combat was created by Uber Entertainment. It started its life as an Xbox Live arcade game and eventually made its way to the PC on Steam earlier this year. This is a futuristic team-based third-person shooter in the tower defense genre. Let's start things off by taking a look at what we have available to a single player first. Um, we'll go ahead and get right into a single player game. Warning, I have never played it on playoff mode before. I usually stick to the easier modes, so you're probably going to see me get embarrassed by a bunch of AI-controlled robots. Now, I think this game looks fantastic. I picked it up during a Father's Day Steam sale, so I have been playing it for a few weeks now. It has a great personality, it has a great sense of humor, the announcer is particularly hilarious, although I can't really have him on very loud, or he would talk over me and be quite a lot funnier than me. So, a lot of classes, you know how this goes. The names are not cryptic at all. They're pretty simple, and you should be able to get an idea just by looking at the classes, what each individual class has to offer. I'm going to go with Assault. He's the well-rounded class. He's the class that I tend to play most often. We're going to start things off by doing as the screen urges us. We're going to upgrade our skills. Each class has a different set of skills. I'm going to grab a couple of skills that I know play into my particular style. All right, we have about 30 seconds to prep for the wave. Here's the money ball. This is the thing that we are protecting. And I really don't know how things are going to spawn in this particular mode. So I'm going to set up a few turrets around the perimeter here. Things can and will spawn from all of these angles. Um, that gets quite interesting, quite hectic, and quite fun. So, just throwing down some turrets, because as I said, I have no idea what's going to happen. Looks like they're keeping it easy to start with. I only see one green line that, that indicates where the enemies are coming from. So, pretty simple. Uh, machine gun, grenade launcher. This particular class, again, well-rounded. Not a lot of particular challenges or mechanics. Uh, the most complex thing he has to master is his charge ability. Uh, but that is uh, really not that hard to master either. So uh, I recommend Assault for starting players, but of course you're going to gravitate towards the sort of thing that you like. If you play a heavy in Team Fortress 2, you're going to go right to the gunner. And uh, speaking of Team Fortress 2, yes, this game owes a lot of its aesthetics and personality to Team Fortress 2, uh, and I can't complain about that. I think that's a good thing. Um, Valve didn't seem to have a problem with it either because when this game launched on Steam there were several cross promotions with Team Fortress 2. So I think the personality of this game is fantastic and fitting. It is sort of a futuristic Team Fortress 2 in some ways, uh, but of course the tower defense genre. So this is going to go on for a while, um, 20 some odd rounds. It's going to get harder as we go, but I'm not going to make you sit here and uh, wait for that. So we are going to... Oh my god! Okay. Ah, uh, right. Invisible enemies killing me, and I don't like it. So we're going to take a look at multiplayer next. Again, pretty basic here, tower defense. You know how this goes. Oh, more enemies that want to kill me. Just take take the ball. Take it. I don't want it. Take it. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Wow. All right. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the multiplayer functionality of this game. It is, uh, well, it's where the game shines, in my opinion. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a look at some multiplayer action on Monday Night Combat. Oh, goodness. Let's start things off with a giant explosion in my face. All right, guys, so as you might imagine, this is similar to the single player. We have got the towers to defend. We have our money ball. There it is. And the other team has their money ball. Let's see if I can sneak a peek at it. You want to defend your money ball. Oh, my Lord. You want to defend your money ball while trying to get your bots to your enemy's money ball. The bots will do a much better job of taking down the shields of the money ball 
and uh, will help you get a chance to destroy the money ball. Once the shields are down, uh, you can wail away on it pretty easily and destroy that money ball in just a few seconds. So again, we are moving together as a team trying to support our bots. You can straight up just fight other people if that's really what you're interested in, but you're not quite as effective if all you do is kind of hang out and fight the other players. Um, because it's not a deathmatch game. It's not a one-on-one uh, -on -one arena game. It is a team-based tower defense game. And if you're not doing the things that uh, get you to the tower, which is, i.e., defending your bots, then you're really not going to be very effective. So, a little hectic here, as the games do tend to be. I think that's a fantastic thing. A little bit of... Chaos never hurt anybody, at least not as far as I'm aware. Uh, if you tell me that it has, I will just shake my head. I can't quite get that support. Coctopus, what a name. These these people and their fantastic names. Then again, that's coming from me, and my name is Naked Man in the game, so, um, yeah. Oh, goodness. All right, that assassin is just going to town. All right, so let's see if we can do a little bit to support our team here. Any turrets we can upgrade? Oh, let's try to upgrade. Oh, my goodness. Okay, thank you. Someone, jeez. Okay, there we go. Nice little turret upgrade there. So, again, time is running out on this match. Um, but let's talk about what we think about Monday Night Combat. The, the single player, we've seen it. The multiplayer, we've seen it. What do we think about Monday Night Combat? Well, here on Big Dave is Cheap, I generally like to rate games. I like to rate them on a five buck scale because as you know we don't spend any more than five dollars on games here at big dave is cheap so let's talk about the rating how would i rate this game i would rate it five bucks out of five that's right five bucks out of five um now granted my rating system is not very precise and uh if you were to ask me to rate this game again in a week i might not rate it the same um but i'm just talking about how do i feel uh, about the game do i feel like i got my money's worth do i feel like i had a good experience uh, from playing this game, do I feel like I would pay more than five bucks for it? Yeah, I think I do. So five bucks out of five, meaning that I really enjoyed the game, I think it's worthwhile, I think it's worth a look, and I think that if you can find this game for five dollars or less, you should most certainly buy it. Okay guys, that's going to do it. Again, I have been Big Dave, and I am riding a giant chicken. Yes, it's everyone's favorite. It's Chicky Cantor. I'm going to go ahead and finish Chicky off, guys. Until next time, take it easy.